Hello viewers, welcome to Magay's Chemistry Classes. In this video, we are going to learn about TRB PG Chemistry Nodes and Orbital Angular Momentum in Quantum Mechanics. First of all, what is nodes? Node is the space of the orbital in which the electron density of the electron is zero, said to be zero. The probability of finding the electron density is given by the formula psi squared. The psi squared is the square of the wave function. When you plot this psi squared versus the radius of orbital r, what you get? It is called the probability distribution curve. In the probability distribution curve of the 1s orbital, we can see that when the radius is very, very low, it is near to the nucleus and the probability of finding electron is maximum. As the R value increases, what happens? The probability of finding the electron density is minimized and as like. Here, there is no zero value for the size squared. So, we can say there is no node for one s orbitals. For the 2s orbitals, we can plot the size squared versus R. What is the value as in the case of 1s orbital? The value of psi squared is high when the radius is very close to the nucleus. As it goes, what happens? It reaches a particular space where the node is 0, psi squared is 0. So the 2s orbital has some nodes. In this similar way, we can classify the two types of nodes. One is the radial nodes and another one is the angular nodes. In the examination point of view, there is a question, what is the number of radial nodes and what is the number of angular nodes, in some cases what is the total nodes. To find out the radial nodes, there is a formula that is n minus l minus 1. And to find out the angular nodes, it is equal to the asymptotal quantum number l. And the total nodes is equal to n minus 1. n is the principal quantum number and l is the asymptotal quantum number. So, in this way, we can easily calculate the number of nodes. Here, we see 1s orbital, what is the n value? n value is 1 and s, l is equal to 0. By substituting here, 1 minus uh, 0 minus 1 is 0. So, for 1s orbital, there is no node. Okay. For 2s orbital, what is the number of nodes? For 2s orbital, n is equal to 2 and L is equal to 0. So, the number of radial nodes 2 minus 0 minus 1. So, it is 1. So, number of radial nodes for 2s orbital is 1. In this case, angular nodes. For angular node, L is equal to 0. L value. What is the total nodes? Total node is n minus 1. In case of total node, it is 1 minus 1. This is equal to 0. N is 1. And for 2s orbital, n value is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, total nodes. So, for 2s orbital, the total nodes are 1. And the angular nodes of L is, L is equal to uh, 0. So, uh, no angular nodes and only one radial nodes. So, in this way, we can calculate the number of nodes and the radial nodes. So, this is the important formula you have to keep in mind to calculate the number of nodes. Okay. Then, orbital quantum number. The orbital angular momentum is given by Niels Bohr. According to Niels Bohr model, the angular momentum L is equal to m v r is equal to n h by 2 pi. The angular momentum is a multiple of the principal quantum number by the fact h by 2 pi. The h by 2 pi is a common factor. It is called h cut is equal to h by 2 pi. So, this is in the case of uh, Niels Bohr model. But in quantum mechanics, the angular momentum is calculated by the basis of the asymmetrical quantum number. It is the uh, square root of L times L plus 1 H cut. Okay. So, L is the asymmetrical quantum number. For L is equal to 0, L is equal to 0, it is S orbital. What is the L value? The L value is equal to L is equal to 0, the L is equal to 0. Okay. And for L is equal to 1, it is P orbital. And what is the L value? L is equal to 1 into 
2 and it is root 2 h cut okay and l is equal to 2 it is the d orbital and l is equal to it is 2 into 3 6 h cut and l is equal to 3 it is f orbital and l is equal to square root of 12 h cut so in this way we can calculate the orbital angular momentum for example what is the angular momentum of the 2s orbital so it is a tier because team so for 2s orbital what is l value l value is equal to 0 for l is equal to 0 the angular momentum is equal to 0 okay okay viewers in this presentation we have discussed about the nodes and the orbital angular momentum i hope that it is useful to you if so please subscribe this channel for further notifications thank you for watching